Hello, welcome to my first Power BI Sparks. I call my short video a spark, and in this spark, I want to talk about how many rows are there in my table. Before we start, just a gentle reminder to click on the subscribe button to see future uh, videos and maybe um, connect with LinkedIn. If you want to download this file, you can do that in the comments below. The URL is there. Um, first, uh, the front end, and then we go to the back end. In the back end, I call it back end because that's in Power Query. On the front end, it's easy. On the page, I have made some print screens for the steps I'm gonna show you. So you can look at it later if you downloaded the file. Um, we're going to the data table view and then we select the financial bookings because that's the table I want to see how many rows there are in. And on the left bottom, you see here how many rows there are in the table. That's easy and that's on the front side. Let's go over and see at the back end. On the back end, we have two ways how we can show the total rows of a table. Um, I first show you uh, the left side, scenario one, and then I want to show you scenario two. Let's go over to Power Query for the backend. I select the financial bookkeepings table, and now you can see on the left corner, you don't see the totals, you see uh, that's more than 1000. Okay, so now we're gonna change the profiling from the highest thousand to the entire data set. Secondly, we're gonna go over to the lint and go to the view tab, and there you're gonna turn on, or turn off and turn on, the column profiling. Now you can see the count of the rows at the bottom. And what's nice about this step is that every step you can see how many rows there are. So let's say we want to filter on a specific uh, organization key and we do it again, the entire set, on and off the column profile. Now you can see, okay, there are 5000 rows remaining. And you can see here, if you do that again, that's uh, 39,000. So that's um, option one. Let's go over to option two. For option two, uh, we can make a an extra column. So we go to add a column and we're gonna count the, we make an index column from zero, or from one, excuse me. And now in every row, there is a number. Then we go over to the view step and we can select the column distribution. And if we do that, we can also see that there are the same numbers. Uh, I prefer to do it in uh, the step one option. Now some bonus, an extra tip. I saw on um, on the YouTube and it was by Foresight BI. And what he said is if you want to toggle and you just don't want to do it uh, manually, you can right click on the column profile then add a short key and then you can with Alt 2 you can toggle. So that's that if you use it a lot you can do that like that. Okay, this was my first part. I hope you liked it and I hope you sign up and you get your files from to download. Bye!